Good morning. So a reminder that when we are making some words plural, we need to add an ES to certain words. So remember those words that end in X, S, C, H, S, H, or Z. When we want to make those words plural, we have to add an ES. We can't make them plural by just adding an S. So I have some pictures of our words that we have here. So for example, I have the word ant and I want to make that plural. So I see that the word ant ends in a T. And so I simply add an S to the end to make ant, ants. I have a boy. I notice that boy ends in Y. So to make boy plural, I simply add an S and it becomes boys. Then I see the word brush, but when I take a look at the word brush, I notice that brush ends in SH. So when I write the word brush and I want to make it plural, I have to add an ES. So brush becomes brushes. Chain, notice that chain ends with an N, so I can just add my S to get the word chains. Dresses, so I want to make dress plural, but to make dress plural, I notice that it ends in S, so I have to add an ES. And I see fox, I notice fox ends with an X, so in order to make fox foxes, I have to add an ES. So a reminder, those words that end in X, S, C, H, S, H, or Z, when we make them plural, we have to add an ES. Okay, so I see globe, I see that it ends with an E, so I make it globes. King ends with a G, I can just add an S and get the word kings. Pan ends in an N, I can just add an S and get the word pans. Rake ends with an E, I can just add an S and get the word rakes. Swim, notice this one is a verb this time, but when I add S or ES to verbs, it's the same rule, ends in M, so I just simply add an S. And then we have watch. I notice that watch ends in CH, so in order to make watch watches, I have to add an ES. Okay, and we'll skip this one for now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do our grammar with our word work video. So a reminder that this week we are working with quotation marks. So remember when we write quotation marks, there are three things we have to remember. We have to remember to write a comma after the word that tells us that someone is speaking, like said, asked, told. We put our quotation mark and we capitalize the first word within our quotation mark. Okay, we always capitalize our first word within our quotation mark. And then when we put our ending punctuation, our ending punctuation goes in the quotation marks. So we have our sentence here. Carmen said, we like your painting. So I ask myself the question, what are Carmen's exact words? Carmen's exact words are, we like your painting. Okay, so it starts with the word we. So I need to put my comma here after said. I put my quotation mark. But then remember, I need to capitalize the W in we. And then I put my quotation mark after our period. Okay, so today for grammar in your twos, uh, I'm sorry, my days are off. No, I, I, didn't, I don't have a grammar paper for you to do today. Okay, so when you are finished watching our video today, so you're going to read our anchor text again for today schools around the world, and then you're going to do your reader's notebook page, page 192 and the backside, page 193.